Hey everybody, welcome to Your Cooks. I appreciate you joining. Folks, I got a rack of lamb for you today. Holidays coming up, a lot of people like lamb. I figured I'd cook a rack of lamb for you on my pellet smoker. Y'all stick around, this is gonna be a good one. All right, folks, fixing to prepare this lamb rack. This is something I've never tried before, but I follow a chef on, uh, on X, you know, uh, Chef Andrew Gruel, and he suggested that one of his fans try this recipe instead of doing the old Julia Childs recipe for a rack of lamb. So I was like, hey man, you mind if I try that on video? He's like, no, that's cool, man. So uh, shout out to Chef Andrew Gruel. I'll put his link down below. And anything I use in this video will also be down below in the comments or the, uh, the description box. Not the comments, but the description box. Check out what we're gonna do with this. This should be good, man. Let's check it out. All right, so got my rack of lamb. Get you a little closer here. Got my rack of lamb here. She's looking pretty good. Got it from a local butcher. It's fresh uh, American lamb. Now you can see here, I got a bowl full of uh, full of tea leaves using some jasmine tea. This is in bags and also I've got some vanilla tea in bags. If you can find a mixture of the vanilla and the uh, jasmine, go for it. I, I could, but it wouldn't have been here in time for my video. So I just ordered this off Amazon. This is gonna be our rub folks. Now I did bring this, uh, this lamb out of the fridge Oh, maybe 30 minutes ago and I did salt it with just regular salt but uh, it's just a little dry brine while it comes up to temp I'm going to mix up this tea it smells really really good so just mix up the vanilla and the jasmine teas all right we're going to hit this a lot of people use uh, you know vanilla I'm not not vanilla oh, I'm thinking about tea a lot of people use mustard or oil or something like that. But y'all know me, I like my Leanne Perrins. Good old Worcestershire sauce, straight from England. So I appreciate all my fans that send me some of this. Really, really good stuff. And actually, this is different than what we can find here in the States. This is this is a lot more pungent. Um, it's, it's, actually, it's actually smoother, in a sense. But man, it's really good, really good. I actually like it a lot better than the, than the American version. So again, thanks to all my fans who sent me some of this. Uh, I got two of them, I believe. <clears throat> all right, folks, let's uh, start on the back side here. The uh, membrane's still on there, which we're not gonna worry about. So, you know, and I did, I cut up too much of this, this tea. I did seven tea bags, cut them open, mixed them up. I think three or four probably work. I mean, lamb's not that big. But we're gonna coat this down pretty good and again it's already been salt brine dry brine while it was coming up the temp on the kitchen counter there we go all right let me wipe my hands off we'll be right back all right guys fixing to throw this on my uh my camp chef pellet grill i got it at 250 gonna throw this baby on right here in the middle the uh, the heat box is right here so I got a little heat coming this way in fact I'm probably let's let's do it this way yeah let's do it that way just so we get a little even cooking going on got my temp probe for the camp chef in here and let's go yeah right in the middle right there there we go There we go, now, now we're talking. Now folks, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook this to about 118, 120, somewhere in that range. And then we're gonna raise the temp on this camp chef and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to sear the outside fat. So it looks pretty. I've got the uh, smoke setting on number three. 
so I don't like a lot of heavy smoke on my lamb. If you do, go for it, man. Uh, I just I just want just a touch of smoke. We're gonna probably cook this for like an hour or so and see where we're at. So I'll bring you back here in about an hour. Y'all stay tuned. All right, folks, you can see we're uh, hovering around 250, kind of 119. <clears throat> 119 on the lamb. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to take this off, set it over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to crank this temp up so we can, we can actually sear. Let's see here. Uh, Set temp. Let's go 400. There we go. Keeping the smoke level at three, we're gonna crank this baby up to about 400. And uh, as you can see, this is what the uh, lamb's looking like right now. Looks pretty good. So we're gonna just let this chill out until this gets up to 400. Then we're going to try to sear and kind of crisp it out so that's kind of just a little bit. All right, guys, I got my uh, Whippin Pro, Camp Chef Whippin Pro, set for 400. She's cruising about 402 right now, as you can see. Let's go ahead and throw this lamb on and see if we can sear the outside fat of it. And my firebox, the, where all the pellets burn, is right here. So I'm going to set that maybe right there. We're going to stick this probe back in. And I'm going to set that probe for uh, about 128 or so. And we'll see how long it takes. I don't know. It, uh, this only took about 45 minutes to get up to 118 or so. Anyway, let's make some sauce. All right, guys, I got the uh, optional sidekick on my woodwind pro Let's see if we can get this baby to light up with some propane there we go all right. all right we're going in with about a half cup of brown sugar all right so put in a half cup of sugar uh, brown sugar and i'm going in with a little bit of this uh sherry vinegar which is another thing that uh, chef gruel called for and i'm gonna go equal parts brown sugar and Brown sugar and vinegar. This is a one cup saucer here, so there we go. Half cup brown sugar, half cup sugar vinegar. All right, just because we're cooking lamb, I'm gonna put in a little bit of thyme, rosemary, a little bit of sage. Just make sure all that gets incorporated there. gonna let this kind of cook down just a little bit be right back it's getting close I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of salt and I'm put this on my carrots I've got some carrots as a side dish I've already parboiled them and I'm uh, actually steaming some broccoli and cauliflower as we speak but this is this is going to coat the carrots and also the uh, the lamb. So just want to reduce this just uh, maybe half. We'll bring you back. Let's check on this lamb. It's been about I don't know five seven minutes something like that. Oh yeah, man. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Alright guys, I'm showing 137 on my temp probe. Let's, uh, let's just double check. Uh, 132. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. I don't want it to get too overcooked because I don't like my lamb. Uh, I don't like my lamb overcooked. But uh, anyway, this is what looking like, folks. There you go. 133, 134. Alright. Put that set aside for just a little bit. Let's finish up the meal. Alright, so 
I did turn this off and just reheated it. So let's go ahead and put our carrots in there. And I got a nice medley of carrots. And throw that in there. Get these all coated up. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and take our herbs out. Alright. Let's go ahead and plate it up, man. What do you say? Alright, so I already got the plate. I got the uh, glazed carrots, got some broccoli and cauliflower, and uh, mashed taters with a little chive in there and a little butter. Back on there. There we go. All right, let's get this rack of pork I've had tinted for uh, probably 20 minutes or so. Let's see what we got. Let me zoom you in here just a little bit. There we go, baby. There we go. All right. I mean, she looks good. She looks really good. Just like that. There we go. All right, here we go. Come on. There we go. like that folks oh yeah babe there you go overcooked it just a little bit for my own taste you know I mean it's still uh, still kind of medium you know I guess let's see what we got see if we can uh, see if we can plate this baby up all right. Something like that. Folks, there we go. How about that? Don't that look good? Don't that look yummy? Oh yeah, babe. That's a good looking plate, y'all. I don't care who you are. All right, now, one more thing we need to do. Let me back you back out just a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> I've got this glaze over here. This, uh, this sherry vinegar glaze. What you want to do is you want to pour this over your lamb. Just kind of like that right there, baby. There you go. Put a little bit on the side. You know, you know what I hate? I hate going into an expensive, let me back you up. I hate going into an expensive restaurant and they give you very little of anything. Little bitty portions. And when you get something like pork chops or lamb chops or something like that, and they give you some gravy, they give you just a little bit of gravy. Not enough to really dip all them pork chops and uh, lamb chops in. So anyway, that's why I piled up the gravy on this one. Oh yeah, babe. Good looking plate, good looking plate. Again, there you go, and that's got the sauce on it, and the glazed carrots, and we got some uh, steamed broccoli and cauliflower, okay? Isn't that a beautiful plate, folks? Little mashed taters happening in there with some chives and garlic and butter, and there you go. Let's try one of these, see what it tastes like. All right, here we go. Get a little bit of this, this uh, not balsamic glaze, but uh, sherry vinegar glaze on pork chop. Here we go. Now, I've never tried the tea, using the tea for a, uh, a rub. Hmm. I don't really think I taste the tea a whole lot. Glazed carrots are good. That glaze is good, y'all. This is actually really good. Um, it could use a little bit more salt for my own taste. But man, this is good. I love lamb. A little mashed tater. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, that's good. So folks, hope you enjoyed this. 
you did, give me some thumbs up. Help you share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. We'll see y'all next time. Mm. Get you some lamb, man. That's good stuff. Cheers.